the next process in the program, according to our flowchart, is actually entering all plant and equipment and then chemicals. So here, risk management section again, select plant and equipment. You'll see I've already entered some uh, equipment in here. We'll, we'll add a new piece of equipment. So you can actually name a piece of equipment. So we'll just call it vacuum cleaner. And the site is just general. And the activity is going to be cleaning. We haven't got cleaning there. Yes, we have. We've got vacuum cleaning. So you can actually put asset numbers or whatever it may be, serial numbers, to identify clearly that machine. Um, you can have qualifications required or training required. So we'll just go um, general house housemaid induction. Now you can also sc schedule a maintenance date for any piece of equipment. So we'll schedule a maintenance date for this vacuum cleaner in one year's time. And we can also schedule a maintenance person and their email address. A review date to review this kind of um, information we've entered into the program here. And we'll go next. Automatically you'll actually go into the, um, to the again, to the, oh, I've actually did that before, but it's entered into the uh, equipment register. Now you can also actually upload a picture which would actually sit here. And these are all the details of the vacuum cleaner if we select the um, hourglass icon. So anytime you see this hourglass on the left hand side, it actually opens up the form that you've built or the information you've inputted in and gives you the details. We can also upload a picture of the vacuum. So if we upload a picture of the vacuum, we can select upload. It brings up this kind of icon. We can browse and look for a photo. So we might look for a photo and I'll just go to um, where I know that some photos are because I've uploaded them before. So we'll go um, docs, clients, red clean, and images. And we'll just go um, We'll just, we'll just upload that. Now we've actually uploaded that into the program. We hit vacuum cleaner. and actually puts the picture nice and neatly in there. So pretty impressive. Mm. So here you can also upload the user ma manual for that document. So we can, again, we can um, look for a PDF document because we can only upload PDF documents into the program. So we'll, we'll upload a uh, PDF document. So it uh, and now by uploading that PDF document into the program, when it goes in there, when it goes in there. It was a bit big that document. I should have seen how big it was before I uploaded it. I'll just click out of it. But it actually comes up in here and it will say sit, sit in there. People can up, you know, upload it any time they wish. Now in the registers, as I mentioned, these are here for the details. You can upload um, PDF documents into the program or pictures into the program. And this is your update button. And that update button, you can actually go back and review the process you've actually entered into the program. So you can actually, if it had a maintenance date, you can select the maintenance date or change it or whatever it may be. The maintenance date of the machine is actually sitting here. Now all maintenance dates, when that is a maintenance date is due, it automatically go to red to signal that it's actually due. Later on we're going to have a to-do list. It actually puts all the... Uh, things throughout the entire program that's due in one kind of list.